Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome to my. Hey guys, welcome. Hey guys, welcome back to my. Come back to my. Welcome back to my channel. Testing one two three. Drop cam. Practice. Uh uh. Okay, boom. Camera should be great. Ah. <laughs> welcome to my channel or welcome back to my channel so honestly y'all this video is very much like super duper overdue um this is basically my 2021 recap my 2022 welcome what's tea what's going on what's vibes um i was supposed to film this video definitely not the first week of the month but most likely like the second week of the month i wanted to get a video out there for you guys like early in the year show you guys what i got planned you know showing you guys a little recap of last year and stuff like that but honestly once january hit when i tell you i had a client because i do hear if you guys don't know or don't remember and when i tell y'all i was booked and busy like i was booked every single day since the year started like no break hair 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 no break okay so i mean i i'm not complaining about it because of course money baby like yeah okay last week was my week where i really didn't have much to do like at all when i say you didn't have shit to do and i don't like having nothing to do because it's like i don't feel productive i feel like i'm not doing anything hold on oh! my camera fell i hope the camera quality don't look too off or the lighting don't look too off but y'all know i just really like recording in the car especially when it's like people in my house and i don't even like to say people in my house because it's like my brother and my sister but i don't know i feel like the car is like so sacred <laughs> and so quiet and it's like i don't feel like nobody's listening to me i don't feel like nobody is gonna walk in and bother me like i'm just you know in my own zone but anyway this video is like a 2021 recap slash uh what's in store for 2022 i'm not sure if i'm gonna put my recap video of like all the videos i recorded last year like a uh, compilation i did i'm not sure if i'm gonna put that in the beginning of this video or like the end of the video but either way you guys are gonna see what's seen first we're gonna say a few words for 2021 honestly it was 2021 was very difficult in a way like yes i had my good times but it was very like i don't know it was very i don't want to say eye-opening it was more i don't know 2021 was a motherfucking year that's all i gotta say i'm glad to be alive i'm alive i'm still here doing my thing so thank god for that but i do want to talk about some things that i do want to get into this year and i'm just going to put it out there the most like when it comes to people and these new year resolutions and like stuff they want to do honestly it all comes down to actually doing it okay because you can say i want to start a youtube channel i want to be a rapper i want to um be a photographer but it's like you gotta like do it you feel me or you gotta like get the things to do that and a lot of people, um, this is, y'all know I be ranting and stuff, but, but I do want to say a couple of things before I get into, like, myself. But just to encourage y'all out there and, like, just, you know, speak some little facts real quick. A lot of people feel like you have to have more than what you already have to make it or to do whatever that you want to do. And it's probably facts, but you can honestly work with what you have. Like, when it comes to a YouTube channel, I know, you know how many... There's so many people who tell me on a daily, I want to start a YouTube, I want to start a YouTube, or I go on Instagram, oh, I want to start a YouTube channel. Start the channel. Like, what are you waiting for? Like, what are you waiting for? Like, no, for real. Like, all you got to do is make an email, start the YouTube channel. Oh, I don't have a camera. You have a phone. That's a camera. Oh, I don't have a light. Bitch. You better, it's a bunch of different things. You do not have to spend so much money on shit, especially when you're just starting something. Because when you're just starting something, you're kind of getting a, you know, a little feel to it, trying to figure out if you like it or not. Or, you know, still trying to figure it out. You don't have to exactly know what you're doing, but you are trying to like test something out. And if it works, it works. If it don't, it don't. But you don't want to invest OD amount of money into something when you're not even 100% sure about it. Now, if you're 100% sure about it, you got money to spend. You just feel like, I just want to be 100% ready because I'm about to go full force and I'm about to fuck these niggas up. 
then yeah, go get that ring light, go get your camera, go get all that shit. But if you're not 100% ready yet or not sure if you're going to be consistent or take it serious, start small. Use your phone. I'm using my phone right now. I have a camera, but I love using my phone to record. Like, the quality to me just looks better with certain, like, certain places I record. Moral of the story, whatever you guys, whatever your resolutions are, whatever your goals are, whatever the plan is, just do it, okay? I was just talking to BJ the other day, and I was telling him, like, it's so crazy because when it comes to, like, shit that people want to do, like, you literally just need to do it. Like, I remember being like, I want to start a YouTube channel. When I tell you, it wasn't just like, oh, I created a damn email and then i just was like okay i'm about to start making videos no and when i decided to start a youtube channel i literally went into research mode like when i tell you i learned how to edit people be trying to people be oh, i don't know how to edit bitch i don't know how to youtube you want to be a youtuber bitch youtube how to do this everything is on youtube right you can youtube how to make something how to cook something how to sew something how to braid you can how to do anything you can look it up on youtube so i literally was researching how to um i was about to say braid <laughs> i was looking up how to edit how to make thumbnails how to make this how to edit like this how to do this I, I was looking up everything so i was you know getting knowledge doing my research then i would do little practice shit so i would do practice thumbnails to make sure i know how to do that make a little practice video you know to get comfortable on the camera because honestly you making cute videos of yourself where taking pictures and shit is a whole different vibe than actually sitting and talking to a fucking camera like when i tell you you're literally not you're not talking to nobody because you're literally talking like you're talking to your phone but you're talking to the people okay but it don't feel like that when you're recording when you're recording you feel like well when you first start off it don't feel like you're talking to anybody it's kind of weird but now i be feeling like i'm talking i know who i'm talking to like i'm talking to y'all so i really be talking like i'm talking to y'all you feel me so yeah um also i wanted to start i wanted to do hair i literally woke up one morning and was like okay I love doing wigs and shit. Like I do, um, I do it for my friends and my sister and shit. And I want to take it serious. Boom. Went and looked up all the shit I needed. Found me a suite. Found different prices of suites that I can um, rent out or whatever. Found one. Made the um deposit. Paid my first week or paid my first month. Got my equipment. Um, got my website going. Got the low like yeah. So all this shit comes with work. Like it's not just so easy. Like boom, I want to do this. You gotta you know do the steps to lead to that goal or sometimes just just do the shit okay more the story do that shit model for the whole year do that shit just do it like Nike like that ass like just do it okay but yeah that's my little rant we're gonna get on to me and the things I want to get done this year the things I'm going to get done this year because what we're gonna just do that shit okay i still got goals from tw for 2021 that i did not achieve that I still want to achieve this year we're gonna get into my new goals because honestly the 2021 shit. I'm gonna do some of them, but most of them is like, bitch, that was in the past. Why don't you do big, bigger and better things, okay? So one of the biggest things that I want to do this year, like one of the biggest thing I want to, biggest things I want to achieve this year that I know that I can literally do, and I will literally be bomb as fuck at that shit is a podcast. I need a podcast. I love to talk. Um, I love to talk. I love like just conversating. I love bringing up conversations and just talking about shit. And my opinion on things be very off from what people typically think about certain things. So I would love to start a pack uh, podcast. I would love to start a podcast. Um, the other day I was looking up the things I need for it, like the mic and the all that shit, all together, the headphones, all that. I don't even need the headphones for real, but the mic for sure. So um I found a couple things that I need and then also I was looking into like a place I can actually film at because it's like um I can really do it at the crib but it's like I don't know so I'm still looking into that also coming up with a name for the podcast I have one name that could possibly work but I'm like do I really want to use that name so like if you guys have any ideas of a podcast name for me please let me know because bitch I've been trying to figure out names and I'm so bad with coming up for names for shit so if you guys have any ideas for a podcast name for your girl desi comment it down below or you guys can just um dm me on instagram so nobody don't steal my name yeah the name i have right now it kind of fits me because it's something that i i literally say this shit all the time and i feel like it's kind of like a good podcast name so i might be going with that if i don't see anything else or if i don't find anything else so yeah and i'm looking at myself and i feel like my lighting is still off <laughs>
okay boom podcast now another big goal that i have that i know i can do i just need to post is i have a goal to reach 150k by the end of next year i mean the end of this year so in december i need to have 150k now last year i could have definitely hit 100k but i was not uploading i was very inconsistent i was just like my mind was everywhere last year and like life was just very fast life was going very fast my life be going so fast and just like you feel me and sometimes i just need to calm down take stuff slow i'll be having a million and one things on my plate and i need to just focus and just be consistent that's why i went ahead and um i when i first started my youtube uh and when i was um doing my shit like uploading every day and stuff i always kept a planner and i plant my goals for the week my, the month um every day shit i wanted to do and i stopped doing that and i feel like that's one thing that i stopped doing that really helped me so i went ahead and got me a planner and you know they got little cute stickers i got this shit from like dollar general i think i was gonna order one but it's like bitch i can go to the dollar store and give me one so you feel me they just got like some things like it got a calendar so i marked like my clients and shit and then on this side i marked like the shit that i want to get done throughout the week and all my clients that i have and you know if i don't have any clients what videos am i recording and shit like that so boom um another thing that i want to do is i want to start a clothing line now i did have a clothing line like the business filed and everything like legit type shit but i did not start it i think i filed that shit like in 2020 i did not start that shit or maybe it was 2021 i don't remember but i did not start that shit the type of vibe i'm going for the clothing brand i really love it and i know it's gonna work and it's really gonna do what they need to do but i don't want to say what kind of clothes or what what's the idea because it's not like a what kind of clothes like it has it's a it's something that's already like out there but it's different and it's unique because nobody has done it yet and i don't want to say anything because if i say something and then somebody like wrong with my shit and really go off of my shit i'm gonna be sad okay so yeah i'm not gonna say that but just know ladies i got y'all we is dress all the bitches that dress like how i dress you know you want to be comfortable but still cute at the same time bitch we got you i got you okay i got you sis so we're gonna be lit and we're gonna be dressing so hopefully i can do that um also another business venture that i do want to open or that i do want to start that i was supposed to pin start but that bitch scamp me and i really should hit with your ass um is my lash the lash idea i had i have like the whole packaging and shit is so different and like the whole idea is just so like ooh. okay so i really feel like i, I can start that and selling lashes and all like that shit is like the cheapest shit out of everything i want to do like the lashes i think i was getting like dumb lashes for like 250 300 depending on like you know the different shits i wanted and then all i got to do is pay for the packaging everything else is like a little cute extra shit and it's not going to cost more than maybe range probably from 30 to fucking 80 dollars so like that's really light so yeah so that's coming up lashes for the girls because these right here these right here are strips but they give extensions i feel like especially when i put them on and they give full because they're cute they're stacked they're giving and that's what my lashes are gonna give you're gonna put my lashes on and you're gonna feel like fuck i don't even need to get my lashes extended because they're here i could take these bitches off at night okay so yeah we got that in store boom next now this is something youtube related like on my channel that i want to do and one of them is a mm, okay fuck it i want to start uh oh i want to okay fuck it i'm about to put it out there somebody do it they're not gonna do it like me bitch so whatever so i want to start a reality tv series on my channel now i've been talking to a couple people these guys they have their own production company so i was talking to them because i went to go film a video with a friend we was doing like a truth or drink or some shit like that and they were actually the ones um filming it so talk to them reality show is in the works as far as like what each episode is going to be about we was actually supposed to start filming the beginning of january we didn't start yet but we will soon and you guys are going to get a new episode once a week or you guys are going to get a new episode every other week so it just depends on how much um i can film and how much you're comfortable with filming and stuff like that so be on the lookout for that period okay and the reality show is just going to be about like my life and like the shit y'all don't get to see because y'all only get to see what i record but y'all are 
are gonna get to see like me on some like you know fun shit like what i do outside of what i record on youtube and post for you guys okay so just like you know some fun shit also i have a reaction channel and i've I don't know why I still haven't posted anything on there, but I'm going to start doing reactions, excuse me, on days when I don't have shit to do. And it's crazy because even the days where I don't have shit to do, I still have shit to do. But I know I can squeeze in some reactions somewhere, like a reaction video, bitch. That's like me putting on YouTube and watching videos. And I'll be watching videos all the time, so I can definitely do that. That reaction channel will be jumping. I'll make sure I put that link in the description box down below so you guys can go follow that. If I don't start doing reactions by um if i don't start doing my reactions february 1st it will be after i come back from vacation which is february 14th i get back so probably the 15th i'll start doing the reaction so be on the lookout for that the next three things that i wrote down are kind of like things that are like kind of in one like it's a in one type of situation so one of them is a i'm gonna just say all three of them production company photography and creative director now if you guys don't know a bitch is creative okay now i be having visions like when it comes to photo shoots when it comes to music videos like when it comes to like anything i'll be having the vision it's up here okay so why would i keep my great ideas to myself when i can literally make them come to I'm being a creative director very much in the works um i'm gonna do my first little like you know test run get a model everybody's a fucking model nowadays i'm gonna get a bitch i'm gonna get a girl whatever um style her um hair like from fucking top to bottom bitch the only thing that she might have to do is do her nails but i bitch press ones okay so i'm gonna um style a couple things direct a couple videos bitch we is lit okay because that's something i'm very much um interested in and that kind of goes into um uh, production uh, like a production company because production company can do photography creative directing etc but um also when it comes to stuff like this i'll be thinking like damn it really takes it's better when you do something in a team like with a team than by yourself but honestly i'm so sick and tired of waiting on motherfuckers to finally get it in their fucking brain that nobody is going to give you shit like what do y'all be waiting on like what do y'all honestly be waiting on i don't know my camera cut off like usual so excuse me if it's not giving what it was giving before my camera cut off but anyway um like i was saying okay that's what i was talking about a lot of people feel like they need to wait for something and i don't know what the fuck people be trying to wait for and um this is an example but i'm not trying to talk about my friend y'all so please chill and sis if you see this i'm not trying to talk that on you i'm just using this as an example because it really made me be like bitch what are we waiting on okay so boom me and one of my friends be having so many debates and conversations and we 98.9 percent of the time disagree with each other like i be having a whole nother opinion and she be having a whole nother opinion and i feel like when we first started having debates it was like in high school i think or maybe even middle school but it probably was high school and we used to be yelling at each other like, ah, da, da, da. but now we really sit there and have like real good conversation i let her talk she let me talk even though I do have a habit of interrupting people and I need to stop doing that shit because that's very disrespectful. But yeah, so I told her, okay, I wanted to start a podcast, but I wanted to start it with her because I'm like, this is perfect, bitch. Like, you want to be rich and you want to be famous? I love to fucking talk. Like, I got my YouTube, so I know that's going to help shit. Boom, boom, boom. And she's like, oh, yeah, we can do that when we, like, get up, basically. Like, when we up, when we lit, when we rich. But I'm like, bitch i'm trying to do this shit now like i'll be trying to do shit now i'll be getting shit i'll be trying to get shit on popping now because i understand like wanting to wait but i do i actually i don't understand wanting to wait because it's like what are we waiting for we're only gonna get older we're only gonna get more responsibilities and bitch i refuse to be fucking 20 whatever 20 i'm gonna say 20 like in my mid-20s i really want to be um chilling and i'm not even saying like i don't have to be when I say chilling, I mean, like, I don't want to be, I, w I don't want to have to be trying to figure, figure out what the fuck I'm still trying to do type shit. Like, I want to be like, okay, boom, I got a couple things going, boom, boom, boom. Maybe I found out I like doing this. I want to start doing this. Like, you know, traveling, like, I want to be living good, okay? And that, I say 25, that's like mid-20s. Really, I don't want to be fucking pushing 30 still trying to figure shit out you feel me and it's okay if you're pushing 30 still trying to figure shit out because not everybody's gonna have it figured out like now you know you still got time but with time comes responsibility and i don't want to be 30 with no baby no man and i don't got shit to offer like no 
I don't want nobody taking care of me either. If I was to end up like one of those bitches who's like a baby mama, and I'm not talking down on the baby mamas because bitch, do your thing. That's, you know, that's you. But like me personally, I don't want to just have somebody taking care of me. I hate asking anybody for anything. And it's not even, it's just something that I always, like since I was a child, I hate asking people for shit. And it's just like, I like to have my own shit. Like I hate having to be like, damn, I have to ask this nigga for this or I have to ask this person for this or like, you feel me? And I feel like when people give you shit, it's like they're not giving it to you with, like for no reason. They're giving it to you because they expect something in return. And it's like, okay, boom, this nigga paying my bills, buying me this, doing this. That nigga come up and leave me any day and now I'm sick. Or start cheating on me. Now I'm like, damn, bitch. Now I got to deal with this shit because where am I going to go? What money do I have? You feel me? So, yeah, like, even if I do end up with a rich nigga or something, I still want to be doing my own thing. Got my own thing going. Like, you know, really out here making the moves, making that money. Oh, my gosh. This nigga that just walked out my house because my sister does um, hair. But that nigga that walked out my house looked like this boy I used to date like, a while ago. And I almost got scared. I was really finna go outside and slap the fuck out of her for even bringing that nigga here. <laughs> Y'all, where? First of all, fuck that. Where is the bitches? That's, you feel me? You feel me? In your, let's say, 20... I'll even go 19, okay? Because it's some cool 19 bitches, okay? <laughs> Bruh, I'm just trying to make a video about my goals and my phone keeps stopping. Like, if it did I stop, I might be done. But I keep trying every time I say I'm going to be done. So let's just hurry up. Like I was saying, any bitches that's young and really trying to be out here and get, get it and, you know, already doing something to get it, hit me up. Let's do something. Let's collab. Let's go take some pics. Let's really run this shit up because I... I I feel like I don't have a a group. I'm not even a group. I really just be needing one bitch. Like I'm a type. I'm the type of girl that I don't even need a whole group of friends. I really just need one bitch. But I feel like I don't really have like one friend that's my friend. Just just my friend. Well, not even just my friend because I don't even you know you can be friends with other people. I don't give a fuck. But I don't have somebody. I, I feel like that's just my friend that we're real close and we both like feel me on the shit and really like trying to really do that shit and like shit and on bitches and you feel me really get the money and run this shit up like i feel like if i just had one bitch like i really got myself so i'm really chilling but it's good i feel like it's so good and refreshing to have that one person or just that group of friends that's really out here and y'all all trying to get in y'all all got shit to be proud of and doing out here and shit like that so really just find me my twin flame anybody out there I'm a Scorpio, November 18th, from Brooklyn, New York. I live in Atlanta. And yeah, like, hit me up. I'm I'm nice. <laughs> but anyway, before my camera cut off, let's get, let's get into all the shit um, that I didn't say already. And I got somewhere to go. So let's go. Boom. I already told you guys about the production stuff. Now, the, the other three is kind of like... The other three stuff is in one, two. So it's working with brands, working with more brands, um, modeling and IG content. I want to, okay, I, the other day I was on Instagram and I was scrolling and I'm the type of bitch that I see pretty girls on Instagram all the time. I'll be like, damn, that bitch look good. Like, damn, her hair look good. You feel me? She not a fuck. She turned, you feel me? So I was like, okay, period. What the fuck separates me from all these bitches on Instagram? According to my page, not like me, like myself and what I know about myself, but really what really separates me from all these other bitches on Instagram? Nothing. Because we all look good. We all got a YouTube link or some type of link in our bio. And you feel me? That's really it to offer. Okay. I want to bring content to my YouTube, to my Instagram. That's like, okay, this is what she does. Like, this is what separates her from all the bitches that look good on instagram she looks good yes but she also you feel me you feel me so that's what i want to get into um just having more content and just being more of myself on instagram yes i look good yes i can post my cute pictures but bitch who are you and your instagram is kind of supposed to be filled on like not even just of how good you look but just like you know shit that you get into like shit that you're interested in but i feel like people just take instagram so serious now that it's like you feel me so yeah that's one of the things i want to work on like just my whole instagram like bitch it needs to be just about me how i act what i do what i get into period i look good yes but like what really really ask yourself what separates you from everybody else if you want to do something and you but you want to stand out you feel me okay boom because notice all the bitches on instagram most of the 
some very few other bitches on instagram that are really popping and shit they have like a niche they have like a you feel me i turned it back on even though i said i wasn't going to my shit is going to cut off anytime let me hurry the fuck up i don't have all day um like i said working with brands ig content modeling i do want to you know model for some clothing brands let's see like a bitch is very much down to work okay um i had my first real like photo shoot type on set type experience and it was like fucking like six hours like four to six hours bitch i was tired it was very much cold but i had fun and i enjoyed it and thank you very much for inviting me out <laughs> last three things they're very quick very simple i want to have my own beauty bar salon suite um that's a very big goal of mine um i need an amg bitch amg need those okay apartment luxury hot okay need those i need a, a very nice ass apartment nigga i need to be looking at a nice view i already know the area i want to live in i need that shit okay um also collab i want to collab with a youtuber either i want to collab with at least two youtubers this year i want to collab with a youtuber with a way larger platform than me and i do want to collab with a youtuber that's like on my level or like you know like around that general area it's a couple of people i do have in mind that i want to collab with i'm not going to say no names right now but i really do hope i get to i don't know i want to like collab with other youtubers like i know it's a bunch of youtubers and i want to collab with them and like you know kind of get into that community because i'm the only bitch that i know that's around my my area around my time that do fucking youtube that actually do youtube type shit like you feel me not post you feel me like yeah so i do want to get into the youtube community and like hang out with people and you know maybe i go to vicon that's what it's called maybe i go to one of the um youtube um little things or whatever i have way more shit to say but my phone is going to keep cutting off and i also have to leave so i'm gonna shut up um i hope you guys enjoyed the video i love you guys so much thank you guys you guys been rocking with me since the end of 2019 thank you guys so much you guys helped me so much as far as like financially as far as like mentally you guys like it just feels so good when i like post a video and then i see all you guys as comments like it makes me feel so much better like even if it's one or two comments bitch i'll be like i'm doing it for you sis okay so i do need to get back into the groove of things i already know nobody don't don't need to tell me what i need to do bitch. so obviously i'm doing this voice over because my camera cut off again and i was not able to put it back on so hi um make sure you guys like comment share and subscribe follow me on all my social media platforms comment down below any other videos you guys would like me to record your girl will be filming more content this year just stay tuned i won't say too much and yeah i love you guys so much road to 100k and until next time desi l I can't imagine myself being basic I feel like the man when I'm thumbing through faces Hide all this pain in this blood